Some of us are born, nay, gifted, with voices that, within our own minds, breaks the mold, shatters the barriers of communication and entertainment to elevate us to a stratosphere of verbose confidence. Then Marlon Williams steps up and says, Hey bro, hold my beer. He then endeavours to successfully deconstruct everything you thought you knew about the verbal arts to leave everyone in attendance, quite frankly, speechless. I wasn't altogether familiar with this Kiwi act, so like any other excited teenager, I was going in dry. What I had heard from those affiliated was he had a uniquely country sound. This piqued my curiosity as my conservative brain had recently found a new appreciation for all things country. However, once the show started, what I got wasn't exactly Garth Brooks. Instead, what I was treated to was possibly one of the finest displays of vocal aptitude and showmanship we had seen in quite some time. An effortless blend of soul, blues and retro pop with a ludicrous amount of fun gluing it all together. Oh yes, not only was this man from Littleton imperfectly pitch perfect, he was funny too. Or that whilst sipping a scotch out of one hand and playing a guitar or a piano out of the other. Well played with the adversary. Well played. All of these attributes combined to bring a show together that in many ways made me feel nostalgic. It wasn't just the effortless genre hopping of simple and accessible styles of music, or the Kiwi retro decor of a stage housed in one of Auckland's most treasured auditoriums, the Hollywood and Avondale. It was a chance to sit down in a theatre and watch a true entertainer. Someone who can genuinely hold your attention one song at a time, using just his voice, an instrument, and a self-deprecating humour that charmed the pants off everyone in attendance. With a rich tapestry of storytelling and a perfectly structured show, Marlon pulls at the heartstrings in equal measure. The first half was a brooding journey which feels culturally personal, embracing his Māori roots and taking us on a spiritual dive into his mind's eye. After a brief intermission, he lets his hair down, interacting with the audience, sharing anecdotal musings, using a quicker tempo to bring smiles to the faces of everyone in his presence. This truly was an unexpected delight of an evening that I would highly recommend.